Hello and welcome back to Sport Nation. My name is Oli Joshi and here are the latest sports headlines. First up, the football news. Everton found themselves in a strong position to reach the Europa League group stages with a first leg 2-0 win over Hydrick Split. However, the occasion was slightly soured due to riots from the away fans in the 33rd minute. Meanwhile, in other results, last season's losing finalist Ajax face a challenge to reach the group stages after a 1-0 home defeat to Norwegian side Rosenberg. Tottenham look like they've finally dipped their toes in the transfer market. Reports are surfacing that they've had a £40 million bid accepted by Ajax for defender Davidson Sanchez. West Ham have told Scotland midfielder Robert Snodgrass that he can leave the London club after scoring seven goals in 20 matches for Hull, Snodgrass failed to score in 15 Premier League games for West Ham last season. It seems a little bit harsh if you ask me on old Snodders. Next, Chelsea have had a £63 million bid rejected by Juventus for Brazilian win-back Alexandro. Diego Costa said he will not return to Stamford Bridge and intends to rejoin Atletico Madrid. However, Everton are considering offering the Spaniard a temporary loan move until he can leave the club on a permanent deal to Atletico. PSG midfielder Blaise Matudi has completed a medical with Juventus, with the two clubs apparently agreeing an £18.2 million fee for the Frenchman. This has got to be the bargain of the summer, if you ask me. On to the cricket. Alistair Cook and Joe Root hit centuries as England dominated West Indies, closing the day for 348 for three. And finally, the tennis. Britain's Johanna Konta beats Slovakian Dominika Sibakova 6-3, 6-4 to reach the Cincinnati Open quarterfinals. That's it from me today. See you back here on Monday morning for more sports headlines. See you later.